There are additional Pythagorean identities that are very useful to us. There are three Pythagorean identities. The first one you've probably seen already. It's sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. The second one is 1 plus tan squared theta equals secant squared theta. And the third one is 1 plus cotangent squared theta equals cosecant squared theta. You've already seen the proof for this identity. Here we'll show you the proofs for these two identities. We'll start with the identity 1 plus tan squared theta equals secant squared theta. Here's a table we can use. The expression on the left side is 1 plus tan squared theta, and the expression on the right side is secant squared theta. We'll rewrite secant squared theta on the bottom of the right hand side. Now we'll work through the expression on the left, 1 plus tan squared theta. Tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta. So squaring both sides gives us tan squared theta equals sine squared theta over cos squared theta. We'll replace 1 by cos squared theta over cos squared theta to get a common denominator for the two terms. Adding the two terms gives us cos squared theta plus sine squared theta all over cos squared theta. We'll use the Pythagorean identity sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1 to give us 1 over cos squared theta. 1 over cos theta equals secant theta, and squaring both sides gives us 1 over cos squared theta equals secant squared theta. We see the two sides are equivalent. So this proves that 1 plus tan squared theta equals secant squared theta is an identity. Now we'll prove this identity, 1 plus cotangent squared theta equals cosecant squared theta. We'll add a table. The expression on the left is 1 plus cotangent squared theta, and the expression on the right is cosecant squared theta. We'll rewrite cosecant squared theta at the bottom of the right side. Now we'll work through the expression on the left, 1 plus cotangent squared theta. Cotangent theta equals 1 over tangent theta. So squaring both sides, we get cotangent squared theta equals 1 over tangent squared theta. Tangent theta equals sine theta over cos theta. So tangent squared theta equals sine squared theta over cos squared theta. Dividing by sine squared theta over cos squared theta is the same as multiplying by cos squared theta over sine squared theta. 1 is the same as sine squared theta over sine squared theta, and adding these two terms gives us sine squared theta plus cos squared theta all over sine squared theta. We can use the Pythagorean identity sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1 to give us 1 over sine squared theta. 1 over sine theta equals cosecant theta, and squaring both sides gives us 1 over sine squared theta equals cosecant squared theta. We see the two sides are equivalent. So this proves that 1 plus cotangent squared theta equals cosecant squared theta is an identity. Now we've proven all three Pythagorean trig identities, so we can use these to help verify other second-degree trig identities.